Alrighty, welcome back. Uh, the profile is complete or finished in the sense that the uh, the line uh, top and bottom is straight, uh, light tight. We're using that machine block. Now you'll notice a few details. The uh, there's a ever so slight round over right through here. And there's no right, you know, no dimension I can give you to, uh, it's just what looks right. The, you don't want to go straight up and end up with an elbow, a little sharp bend right there. You just, that ever so slightly flows into the, the top line and it looks far more elegant. And actually it gives you a little bit of uh, uh, leeway when cutting the uh, angle on the top of the stem. The bottom, uh, no such worries here. You just extend that line. Everything here is finished with the exception of the button and kind of what I call finessing. In this case, there's a few very small areas around the shank stem junction that because this is textured and this is not require a little bit of fudginess. Now do not uh, take it on yourself to roll over the edge of that flat prism area into the wood at any point. That will show up when you shine it and it just, oh no. When, when I say adjustment, I mean, again, moving the entire plane like it's on a hinge here up at the button end but you might want, there's one spot here that I might lower a couple thousandths of an inch, but and the edges are still uh, long skinny rectangles and that needs to be uh, rolled over so that the uh, uh, approximation of this through here, which is it, it's more blunt than, an, it's not a knife edge and so you want this to mimic that. And that is best done. Don't use your finger because that'll roll over too much. And if you get a sag going in the middle of that or something, uh, it'd be a mess. I would uh, strongly encourage uh, a piece of uh, uh, pencil eraser type rubber. Something like this and uh, with a piece of sand, like, oh, 1200 grit, something very, very fine, and then work like so until you get the edge that you're looking for. Don't be in a hurry. It Don't use a lot of pressure. It, it's very small area, and it's, uh, it won't take long to do. Uh, it, it just, you better stay on top of it and watch as you go, or you'll get too far gone. Okay, the uh, crud that I related to you in the previous video where the guy had his thumb parked on there for a hundred thousand years that blew right off the the uh, 3m bristle brush just poof it was almost like little smoke dust things it so that was not something uh like cement uh not sidewalk cement but meaning like modeler's glue or anything like that it was it was just dirt compacted dirt and uh, that is really going to be about it. Uh, I will go ahead and finish the button off camera as well as refinish the uh, bowl the same way. And here's why. I thought at first I would keep going uh, and just record this up through the end and then realized that the first project I put on here was not only the same brand of pipe, Dunhill, but the same finish, the shell, and believe it or not, it's even the same year, 1954. So, uh, maybe the other was 53, but anyway, uh, there's no difference, in other words, between what I would uh, record for a second time and what I did back then. And if you want, uh, are unfamiliar with that set of videos, it's the uh, the folder that has, uh, I think it's 23 videos in it, and it was the first one that I 
uploaded, meaning if you go to the uh, main page and click on videos and it'll they're all singly there and then up in the in the upper right hand corner click sort by oldest first and you'll get the first 23 that were uploaded and toward the last third of those 23 there's refinishing a shell as well as uh, creating the button for a shell and it's a straight across the end one not a a scooped one or anything like that there'd be literally no difference between what I could show you now and what I did back then so I'll stick with what's already up there and uh, so I'm off to the races here until I get the edges rounded the button finished the stumble refinished and then I'll uh, 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 turn the camera back on for some parting words if something comes to me and uh, as I've been doing lately, uh, or since the beginning, I guess, uh, attaching a few uh, stationary uh, photographs because they show be uh, details so much better than these videos do. So that is, oh, I'm, I think I'll also clean the bowl out a little as long as we're in for a dime. I might as well be in for a dollar and uh, completely revamp this thing. So, uh, Oh yeah, uh, the slot, I, I count that as part of the button, and there's, uh, again, nothing special in this case. So, uh, that's it. I'll be uh, finish this up, be back in a minute, and uh, that's it for now. Take care.